Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much because of your always support. Please consider liking the video. When you like this video first, you absolutely support the work that I'm doing in this video. I will appreciate you so much if you consider liking the video. Thank you so much because of the like. Now, while Korea is not coming out to mention regarding Shagwa's name directly from his tweet, and his description is clear enough to allow observers, of course, to draw the conclusion that he was referring to Rigadi Keshawa. You know, this issue of Limuru 3 is hitting the mountain, especially the politicians who are eventually engaging each other. And who is planning this? Who is planning this? Who is going to take this? That is whatever is happening in the mountain. As if that is not enough, the tweet of Moses Kuria is eventually telling us that the Gadi Gashagwa is behind this Limuru 3 conference. And his tweet says, I am aware that a very senior and powerful personality with prior experience in provincial administration is financing Limuru 3 and he has given instructions to Kioni that if I attend, he will not finance, stated Moses Kuria. That is what Moses Kuria is telling us. Now, as we are waiting for tomorrow, and things has already been organized, tents in Mesha Tengenezo, Viketi Zimepangwa, Moses Kuria is alleging, Kwamba, Ilimuru 3, Rigadi Gashawa is behind this, organizing this Ilimuru 3. Why? Because you're being told that Rigadi Gashawa has realized that if he's not going to react and to build his base, then he's going to lose it big. Comes 2027 20, general election. So what you're seeing here, as per the statement of Moses Kuria, is that Rigadi Gashawa is the one behind this Limuru 3. Because the language that Rigadi Gashago is talking about is the same language that Martha Karua and other colleagues organizing this Limuru 3 they are talking about. Last week uh, on Sunday, Rigadi talked about one man, one vote, one shilling. And also it is evidential that this one man, one vote, one shilling is bringing a lot of trouble as we are being told that Rigadi Gashagwa is rejecting turning down from the statement he made just last Sunday. And so I want you to listen to the statement of the former senator of Mombasa, Omar Hassan, who is now the current member of parliament of Yala from Kenya, saying this. With a lot of respect for Deputy President, he mumbled one shilling, one man, one shilling, one, 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 one vote, one shilling. Pachana Nayo. Ile tatuletea uhasama mkubwa sana ndani ya hii Kenya. Ajua ukitaka kuhesabu watu pia na 1 shilling, hizi wengine wako na karibu 20 million, 20 million votes. Lakini nchi inaishi ina kitu inaitwa constitutional arrangement. Sisi ndio tulitetea hii katiba. Kuleta usawa wa kijamii, social justice. Yule aliyokuwa kingi zamani sasa amwachie mzake na yeye apate. Hao watu wamedhulumika miaka mingi. Kama mtoto wako ameishi vizuri, mtakia wa mwenzako pia mazuri. Jamii zetu kwa kwa, kwa 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 idadi kubwa hawana infrastructure. Hawakwenda mashule. Sasa hivi wamepata fursa ya kila mtu kupelekwa shule alipewe fees full complement. Iko shida gani? Kuna wengine wako na utajiri mwingine. Labda wanapata fees zaidi lakini hakuna infrastructure. Kwa hivyo sisi tunaomba tuwe na uadilifu. Wakati rais ama makamu wa rais anataka kusema kitu, atushauri sisi pia tunawakilisha. 
So now it is very clear, it is very clear that this issue of one man, one vote, one shilling is bringing a lot of tr trouble to Rigadi Gashago himself. Have you realized that Rigadi Gashago is now boycotting William Ruto's meetings and even today during William Ruto's press briefing during the visit of Yoweri Museveni, Rigadi Gashago was not there. This relationship in between Rigadi Gashago and William Ruto is going to end into chaos. Why? Because we are being told that already Rigadi Gashago has one leg is out of Kenya Kwanza government. And so Moses Kuria is alleging that Rigadi Gashago is among those individuals who financed this Limuru tree. And this Limuru tree is just Rigadi Gashago is building up. So as in 2027, they are going to show William Ruto dust in the mountain, even if Rigadi Gashago will not vie for any seat. But again, some Kenyans are saying, we are praying hard that Rigadi Gashago to come out of this government. He's a truth man and he will say the truth, whatever is happening in this Kenya Kwanza government. And so we are just waiting how the tussle is continuing in between Rigadi Gashagwa as Rigadi Gashagwa and other individuals in the mountain. So we are just waiting if Rigadi Gashagwa is going to attend the meeting tomorrow. Because you're being told he has been even invited. Something that also I'm learning about this Limuru 3 is that the possibility of these individuals boycotting is coming out as now another news that the possibility of Uru Kenyatta not being there, regarding Ashawa not being there, and several leadership in the mountain is because these individuals are fearing William Ruto. That if possibly they are going to converge at Limuru 3 and to have a conversation against William Ruto, then you are being told that William Ruto will start fighting hard to ensure that those who are in his government and trying to frustrate him, they're going to see fire. So we are being told by insiders of William Ruto that they're keenly watching how things are going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, do you agree with regard to with Moses Kuria rather, that regard to Shago is among those who are planning the Limuru three? Because already we are being told that Moses Kuria is being rejected not to go to that meeting. And some he, several individuals, as we've been told that Rigadi Gashago is giving orders because he is the financier of that meeting. Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.